Okay, so I have now taken the SD card out of the Tascam MixCast 4 and I've put it into an SD card reader. I have it in the Aces laptop here in class and I'm going to show you how we edit these audio podcasts um, now that they are done. Now you could turn this to a video podcast as well. If you had video recorded your entire podcast as well, you would have the video feed and you would just link it with uh, this audio feed and I'll make a fourth video uh, on how to do that but uh, for people that are just wanting to do an audio podcast then you don't even need to worry about that so uh, let's go forward here with this so the SD card is plugged into the computer so I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, file explorer here I'm going to scroll down um, whenever you record these things on the SD card and I told you in the last episode that they needed to be recorded on the SD card that says pod well unfortunately the pod SD card is not at my computer desk right now. I have no clue where it's at. So I had to use a different SD card. But regardless, whatever SD card that you recorded on, you're going to see a folder pop up on that SD card that's called podcast. So if I double click that folder, I showed you at the end of it that it was named Tyler Test. And that's what we named it. So here it is on this uh, you know, SD card. And notice that the wave type or the file type is as a wave file. So uh, we want to turn them into uh, MP4s. So that way we can, you know, easily upload it's a common audio file. We can upload it to that um, Spotify for podcasters that I showed you in lesson one. Uh, but for now, I'm going to show you how we can edit um, whenever we have, uh, you know, a podcast that's longer than 30 minutes. Most of your podcasts are going to be longer than 30 minutes, and they are going to take more than one file. Obviously, uh, this one was very short in that video. I had it maybe rolling for maybe five minutes or something like that. Uh, but most of your podcasts are going to be a little bit more lengthy. And like I said on the Tascam MixCast 4, after like 30-ish minutes, somewhere around that 30-minute mark, it makes a second file. So that way the file is not so huge whenever you open on your computer. So luckily on this particular laptop, I do have some of my old uh, Not Arian podcasts. Uh, so if I look here, for example, um, I can see that my Casey podcast here, uh, which is the drummer of my band, his podcast was relatively close to two hours long. So I have four uh, clips here of Casey's podcast. So that would mean I would need to take all four of those and combine them together. And I would also need to turn them into um, MP4 files. So here's how I do it. I told you that we use um, Audacity. So I'm going to go to my desktop here. Audacity is this right here. And let's make sure that my screen is recording here. I believe it is. That's great. Uh, so Audacity is this right here. I am going to go ahead and uh, double click on Audacity, and a lot of you probably used Audacity before. Very simple audio editing tool. Uh, whenever I open it up, um, I don't have it on the desktops right now, but I've been trying to get the tech department to get them on our desktops here in class. Um, it looks like this. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to hit uh, Import because we're importing an audio file. So I hit File, Import Audio, uh, and then I'm going to go to the desktop, which is where I had my now airing folder which is right here. So I'll double click the now airing folder uh, and we're using these. So up here, these are ones where it says Casey one, one Casey, one Fowler, two Casey, two Fowler. Those that are ones that I've already done this process with. So those podcasts are already out on Spotify. So I'm showing you literally how to do it from the beginning. So if I click Casey underscore one, which is how it would save off there, you can see now that it's opening the wave file into um, audacity and since that is like a 30 minute clip it's going to take almost a minute to load this thing in uh, so as it's doing this just understand that uh, the editing process is probably going to take I would say when I edit my podcast it probably takes somewhere from 10 to 15 minutes and I give it my undivided attention because the longest part of it is just actually opening up the podcast in audacity and being able to do this um, luckily, I already have, I'll show you how to do it, just this first clip, but I already have all four already converted to MP4 files. Now, the other thing that we have, the reason we have to do this is because when it records in there, like sometimes the person who's mic one will only be coming through the left ear channel. Uh, somebody, the person who's in mic two might only be coming through the right ear channel. Well, that's not how people want to listen to the podcast. They want it to be coming through both at the same time. And some people would be really confused if they started listening to it and maybe their left earbud doesn't work or their left speaker's blown and they're only hearing who's talking to the left, the right. And they're like, I don't understand this at all. 
So once it's in here, the first thing that I look at is I'm like, are the WAV files, the audio files relatively close in size? And I would say by looking at um, these, I'm the top one. So this one that's up here, this is me. I'm always channel one whenever I do my podcast. And my guest is always channel two. Um, whenever I look at these files here, I can see that I think we're relatively close. We're not that far off. If I thought that one was louder than the other, I could come over here to the left and I could put some gain to make that person a little bit louder if I needed to. I don't really ever make anybody softer because I take care of all of the audio leveling the best I possibly can before we even start the podcast. That makes this part so much easier. So again, it's really, really, really important that you take the time to go through the MixCast 4 and level everybody out, make sure everybody does the two finger thing with a microphone and make sure that they're being conscious if they actually have to use a handheld mic uh, about the, their distance away from the microphone. It's gonna make a huge, huge difference. Now you might look at this and say, well, why the heck are all these channels on here? Well, that's because the MixCast, it has a lot of different channels it can record to. Remember, it's got the, the USB, it's got the um, Bluetooth, all of that is still on here. So it records every track every single time it does a recording. Um, and if I actually scroll down here, since this is my first one, you'll see that down here on track nine and track 10, this is actually my, um, my song. So these are the tracks down here for the song that I play at the beginning of my podcast. And I don't know if this will play out loud. Let's try it. If I hit play, can you hear it? Yeah. What's up, Aaron? You are listening to the Now Airy Podcast with your host, Tyler Aaron, where we talk about all things sports, music, and all the above. The song you're so I can get an idea of what it sounds like whenever it's actually in the spot. If I put headphones in, it would sound even better, and I can get an idea of what it's going to sound like when I produce it. But uh, typically, if you've done everything right on the front end on the Tascam MixCast 4, I, I am to the point now where I do no editing in here whatsoever. I just open it up, and then whenever I've got it opened up, I hit File, and I hit Export as an MP3. I want to export this thing as an MP3 uh, and not a WAV file. So I export it as an MP3. It's going to take me through a couple prompts here. The first one's going to be, what do I want to save it as? I usually, since it's, it's multiple files usually, I usually just put one for the first one and then whatever I saved it on the mix cast in there. So if I named it Casey one Casey. Um, now, right now, this is in a Brandon Lawfridge folder because that was the last podcast I edited on this laptop. And then I could just hit save and it would save. Uh, it's going to give me a couple props. It says, your tracks will be mixed down and exported as one mono file, which, yes, that's exactly what I want. Right now, it's in like 12 different files because it was recording every single track that the mix cast has. So, yes, I do want it as one mono file. So I hit OK. Um, I don't, you don't have to put any of this stuff on there. You don't have to change it. I just hit okay. Um, and then it's going to show me, it's going to take about a minute to essentially export this as an MP3. Now understand that since this was four of these long, I would have to do this four times, one for each of those. Um, so open it up, export it, open it up, export it. So I'm actually going to stop this right now because I don't need to do that. And the reason why is because I have already done that for this particular podcast. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go open Audacity again. And I've already taken all four of those files from that Casey podcast and transferred them over uh, to MP3s, mono files. So I'm going to go file. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go open. And then I'm going to go back to my desktop. And this is just where I saved it. Yours will be wherever you save it. So... Go to my desktop, I'll go to my now airing folder where I saved everything. And these up here where it says one KC, two KC, three KC, four KC. I know that those have already been converted to MP3s because I put the numbers in front of them and they're not what they look like when they come off of the, um, the mix cast. And if I actually hover over, it'll tell me it's already an MP3 file. Each one of these are already MP3 files. So I'm gonna open e all four of these and now it's gonna open four different audacities for me. Now, the last step that I have to do is I have to put all four of these in one audacity project. And it's very, very simple. I will show you that right now. So it already opened the first one. Now it's opening the second one. Obviously I'll do the third one, the fourth one, but um, it's as simple as using control X, which is cut. So I'm going to basically go uh, to the second file. I'm going to hit control X to cut that audio file. Then I'll go back to my project for my first file, 
and then I will go to the end of the first file and I will paste the second file right after the first file. And the same thing for number three and the same thing for number four. And then once I have all four of those on there, then I'll export it and that'll be the uh, master copy of the entire podcast. So uh, I just talked through it and it's done loading here now. So I'll show you how it works. So uh, as I can tell at the top now, this is one mono file, one file. And this is the fourth one because it tells me at the top here, this is four casing. Now I'm gonna come down here, hover over Audacity and I can see that I have one, two, three and four all open now. So I told you I need to cut two first. So this is two, I can tell up here in the top left. I'm gonna click on the top part of this up here where it makes that hand grab. Uh, it is important where you click at it. So I click on it there. So now I've got it selected. I hit control X and I've just taken it off of this Audacity file. I'm gonna come back down here. I'm gonna go to the first one. I'm gonna scroll to the end of it. I'm just gonna click out here. I'm gonna hit control V. And it's going to paste that clip. Now, one thing that I have found out while doing this, and it's just an Audacity thing, I cannot go close project two right now, not until I have all this done I've exported. So now I just slide this down and I click them right next together. So now if I click in here and I actually try to listen to this. But we were so aggravated by the whole thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was the babe case. Just, and you can watch through here and, and I have no clue what they're, they're going to say, what we're going to say here because I don't know where we're at in this podcast. I don't know how but it's, it's going to be seamless now that. when it goes from the yeah, first clip us, to the I, second I, clip. That was the second show I'd ever played. So you just didn't know any better. Just so it was seamless. So, and by looking at this, it looks like these clips, it stopped and made a new clip somewhere between 35 minutes and 36 minutes. So if your podcast is under 35 minutes long, it might all be on the same clip. But if it's not, then you're going to have to do this process that I'm showing you right now. All right, so I go back to Audacity. I see my third one down here. I click this. This is going to have to go after the second one. I click somewhere up here where the hand is. I hit Control X. I've taken it off there. I go back to my first project. I'm at the end, I hit Control and V for paste, um, and it's gonna paste it right there after it. And Control X is the hotkey for cutting, and Control V is the hotkey for pasting. So now I have two, three, and I just need four. I'm gonna go to my fourth one here, click up here. I'm going to click X, Control X, and then go to my first one. Now I notice that all the other ones are empty. Come down here, and this podcast was well over two hours long. Hit control V and now uh, that is the entire podcast. There you go. So now this is all four of these all together done in audacity. Uh, and I am currently, I am ready to uh, export. It looks like this podcast was between two hours and 17 minutes and two hours and 18 minutes long. Um, so I am ready to export. I can go file. I would hit export, export as an MP3. Now that all four of them are on there and they're all monofile. Um, I would say, I always, whenever I get to the final one, I actually name it what the episode is going to be called. I call it like episode blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll call it episode 14, Casey Earhart, and then whatever I'm going to call it. Because then I'm going to upload it to Spotify uh, using what I told you in the first video on how to do that. I hit save, and I hit OK. And now this one's going to take, it says right here, three minutes. Uh, so and once it's done, that file will now be in whatever file location I just saved it in, and it is completely good to go. Podcast is ready to be posted to Spotify. Now, again, if you want to make this a video podcast, I'll make a fourth video in this series that shows how to pair your crisp audio that you've gotten from the Tascam MixCast 4 to whatever video footage you got uh, from the cameras that you recorded the podcast from. That would be the last step. Um, again, like I said, my now airing podcast, I leave it as just an audio podcast because I don't really want to deal with the, um, with the video portion of it. And for me personally, whenever I listen to podcasts, I just listen to them. I don't like to watch them because I don't like to watch people talk. Now, some people actually legitimately do enjoy doing that. And if they do, that's perfectly fine. I have a buddy that does a video podcast all the time and he's got lots of people that really enjoy it. It's just not for me. So you have to decide what is for you. Do you want a video podcast or do you want an audio only podcast? Just know that if you want a video podcast, there's going to be an extra step to that. So that's all I have for this one. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Uh, and now you know how to, from start to finish, create a Spotify account to be able to put your podcast out there, um, how to use the Tascam Mix 4, Cast 4 in class to record your podcast, and then how to use 
audacity to edit your podcast and have it ready to be published.